Okay. Um, could you first introduce yourself? Um, my name is Jacob Cart. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. What brings you down here today, Jake? Um, I came on business uh, to visit uh, the art fair that was happening at, uh, PS, at PS1 MoMA this past weekend, and I, when I found out this was happening, I decided to stay because it feels like a really important moment, and I just want to help any way I can. How long have you been down here with the Occupy Wall Street movement? Uh, on and off since Friday. I've been doing other things, but today appears to be the big day where the unions and the students and the teachers are getting involved, and there's a march, and there's a rally with a permit, and I wanted to get involved. I actually changed my flight. i got to be back home tomorrow, but today seems like the big day. So I'm working these back for Occupy Chicago. What do you think? Um, what do you think the ultimate end game to all this is going to be? I'm really not sure. I think all we can do right now is express our displeasure with the way things are right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not that great at articulating myself about this. I, I, I would like to be better. But what feels important is this doesn't seem like a movement of the left or the right. It feels like it's just a, an escape valve for an anger that's been building about the way things work in this country financially for a long, long time, ever since the financial crisis. So when people tell me, you know, it's like, oh, Obama is, you know, he gets more money from Wall Street than anyone, any president in history. I'm like, yeah, that pisses me off too. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm. I lean to the left politically, but I mean, I've met conservatives, I've met libertarians, I've, have a, I've met a friend from high school who works on Wall Street now, and he just says, the system is fucked. I mean, this had to happen. And he sees it as an extension of the, uh, the Arab Spring. It's, he sees it as a, as a line. And you can, I mean, we've seen what happened there. I don't know what's happened. We're not trying to topple system completely, we just, you know, I mean, it's been fucked up for years. We all know that. Everybody on every side knows that. That's all we're expressing, and we're all coming together and we're sharing knowledge and information, a little bit of love, I guess. We'll see what happens. Not, nobody can predict it right now.